So stage one is complete. We've got the two boilers in. We've got a temporary connection for both boilers into the low loss header. We've disconnected the hot water circuit from the low loss header. That's now connected directly to the boilers. And it's running these two cylinders. We removed the diverter valve from here and we've replaced all the wiring through there. Adjusted the gas supply. That's it, so that's all running quite nicely. Now this is an interesting one. We've got a variable temperature control. So I assumed this was the underfloor. And this one has no variable temperature control. So I assumed that was the radiators. Until I noticed the labeling. Variable temperature pump, variable temperature circuit, radiators. Floor heating with no temperature control. So, anyway, that's going to come out just that we might be leaving this one attached to the low loss header rather than as we intended to this one here. But that's the next phase of the work. So, we'll directly connect the radiator circuit to the left boiler and we will leave the right hand boiler connected to the low loss header to run the underfloor heating circuit. Originally I'd planned to replace the low loss header, but then I decided, well, why? This will work fine. If it's only doing one circuit, it will be perfectly okay. It's only the way it was configured for three that was a problem. So anyway, pleased with it so far. We'll be insulating it on the next part of the job as well and removing that lower header. We're not using that now. We've used the hot water return there. So, okay, well, I hope that helps.